Okay, we're going to do the Thai beef salad dressing now. So we've got chilies, bird's eye chilies, or if you don't want it really, really hot, just go like the longer chilies, okay? And then as I've cut them here, really fine. Okay, really, really as fine as you can. And also, if you don't like it really hot, take the seeds out. All you have to do is just put the point of your knife in there, put it on the plate, on the board, and try to roll it or like this just to loosen them out, that'd be right. Just do that. And also that membrane that they're attached to, that's where the heat is. Most of your heat is in the membrane and the seeds and the flesh is what gives you the flavor. So if you want less heat, get rid of them. We'll, we'll pick out a few of the seeds so that it's not quite so spicy for those that are gonna be um, eating it today. Okay, see how easy it is. Look, you just mix it up and they come away anyway. Cool, all right, chop away. Just making sure, because it's a dressing and it's gonna go, you don't want somebody getting a mouthful or a great big piece. Sharp knives are always the best. Okay, separate some of the seeds. Keep the seeds so you can grow your own. Okay, put them in there. I have already done some. I've done extra, more than what we need. So in the jug for the dressing, we're going to, we're only gonna use one teaspoon because of the heat. Because we've got the seeds in there and the flesh membrane and that, it's gonna be pretty spicy. You go for what you like, so it'd be roughly a teaspoon. That'll impart flavor and a little bit of fire. Put that aside. If you have extra chilies or anything like that, you can always put it in a container and freeze them. Then you've got them already prepped for another time. Right, next thing, garlic. As always, the quantities and that. Now we go, this is the one time you can actually use the stems of coriander. I'll just chop off a bit and show, just to show you, just finally cut through the stems like that. Okay, so I've got the correct quantity in here, so it goes into the jug. And this bit, we're actually going to put in here. And that also can be frozen for another time. Coriander goes with so many things, so search for recipes. Ingredient, coriander. Now, four teaspoons of sugar. I haven't used the full quantity. To my, my taste buds, it's a bit too sweet. And of course, if you can't have sugar, you can have, have a, a, a re sugar replacement. Then we've got our fish sauce, lemon, uh, lime juice. I've freshly squeezed it. A little bit short, but I'm... Um, another thing too, you can get, you know, the bottles of lime juice. They're fine. All those sort of bottled things, they're, they're easy to use. And you've already always got them on hand as well. Okay, so we're going to mix, mix this up a little bit. Okay, and finally, going to add a bit of vegetable oil. You can use grapeseed oil or um, canola. I've got veggie. So, two tablespoons. All right. Remember, this is a dressing for a salad. So, give it a good mix up so the sugar dissolves and everything in part. Mix it well. You can see all the bits of cilantro or coriander stems floating, the chili. Normally if I make this, it's about equal, equal quantities, chili and coriander. It's all personal taste. Okay, so that's your dressing done. Leave that. You can always make these things way ahead. You don't have to make like the dressing, you don't have to make it on the day. You can have it in a container in your fridge for a week and it should be fine. You know, you, you've got your, your sugars that are preservatives and your oil and everything else, and it, it just, it stays fine in your fridge in a container. I've got quite a few different dressings and marinades already made up in my fridge at home. And last minute thoughts, oh yeah, I might flavor the meat tonight with this or that. Okay, so we'll just put that aside and we'll be able to get on with our salad.